Next. Hey. Next. Hey. Alter self. I debated shaving my beard for this this next one as a bit, but then then no. Second level, transmutation, casting time, one action, range of self, components, verbal, somatic, duration, concentration, and up to one hour. Not bad! Concentration is probably the killer for this one. You assume a different form when you cast the spell, choose one of the following options, the effects of which last for the duration of the spell. While the spell lasts, you can end one option as an action to gain the benefits of a different one. Oh boy. Here we, here we go with the options, you know? Um, it's basically like a minor shapeshift, getting a specific benefit, and those are between aquatic adaption, change appearance, and natural weapons. Rawr. <laughs> That's... <laughs> ah! Aquatic adaption. You adapt your body to an aquatic environment, sprouting gills and growing webbing between your fingers. You can breathe underwater and gain a swimming speed equal to your walking speed. Not bad, you know? Always good to have a swim speed, and depending on how your DM rules things when within water and combat like that, or having you in various bits of flooded tunnels and cave systems. Who doesn't like a water level? Anyway, it's not bad, you know? Gives you swim speed. I guess the only issue is concentration. Like, I guess water breathing in. I'm, I'm getting to other spells. In isolation, not that bad. Concentration. Concent concentration is a very valuable thing for a spellcaster. For that to be used just on swim speed, outside of other effects that might be useful in combat or dungeon delving. Yeah. Change appearance. This one's really good. You transform your appearance. You decide what you look like, including your height, weight, facial features, second of your voice, hair length, coloration, and distinguishing characteristics. If any, you can make yourself appear as a member of another race, though none of your statistics change. You can also appear... You can also appear as a creature of a different size than you. Wait, 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 wait. What? I have... <laughs> I do not remember this. A different size category? What does it mean by different size? You also... Oh, you can't appear as a creature of a different size than you. Thank God. <laughs> okay. I was wondering where all the, the giant gnomes were. If you're bipedal, you can't use the spell to become quadrupedal, for instance. At any time for the duration of the spell, you can use your action to change your appearance in this way again. So it's disguise self but physical instead of illusion based. And over an hour being able to change that at whim? Pretty decent. Because I don't think, I don't think, di I don't think disguise self allows you to change it. It's only when in the initial casting. And there's other issues with the disguise self. The change appearance doesn't change any of your, like, clothes or insignia. But, you know, the benefits kind of like a changeling, just without the voice. Not bad. Natural weapons. You grow claws, fangs, spines, horns, or different natural weapon of your choice. Your unarmed strikes deal 1d6 bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage as appropriate to the natural weapon you chose. And you are proficient with your unarmed strikes. Finally, the natural weapon is magic, and you have a plus one bonus to the attack and damage rolls you make using it. I forgot this counted as magic damage. It kind of makes sense, now looking back at it. But plus one, plus one, and you're proficient. But what does it use? Like, what, what, what stat? I, if it's unarmed strikes, then I'm guessing it's strength. Yeah, so, depending on what spellcasters have this, uh, which might change the rating, I guess. Can this, can, can this be cast on other people? No, it's only self. So, you're a spellcaster, generally squishier than most. Casting the spell to give yourself a plus one natural weapon using strength. I can't think of a spellcaster outside of Paladin that would use strength. Generally. That's 
And Jack Paladin does not get this one. That's weird. It, it'd just be more efficient to give them like a, a magic hand axe because it's taking up concentration. For a stat they don't have. Then they could use other weapons. This can't be upcasted. It's concentration. Natural weapons while early game. I can see it being used to get over. That's the that's the thing, it's only on self. So even though you're like, oh, it gives you a, a magic plus one, like, attack. So early game, when you bump into creatures with resistances, it's great. But this is only on self, and it's only for the spellcaster. You have magic spells that deal damage. More than 1d6 plus one, and whatever your strength is likely, which is pretty low. It's got you some utility, but it's a bit niche utility that is trumped by a lot of other spells and abilities. So, 6 out of 10? 